So now that Captain Rogers and Iron Man are both gone, who do you think's gonna lead the Avengers? I could lead them. <laughs> Phase four of the Marvel Cinematic Universe is introducing a lot of new heroes and villains and none more important than the Eternals. We've finally gotten our first real look at these immortal heroes in the first teaser trailer for Marvel's Eternals and many MCU fans probably have one question on their minds. Who the heck are these people? Let's break down all the key characters in this new Eternals footage and why they just might be the heroes we need in this post-Avengers world. First, the basics. The Eternals are a race of powerful immortals created by the Celestials. The Eternals were tasked with protecting humanity from their twisted counterparts, the Deviants, which is why we see them appearing before prehistoric humans thousands of years in the past. We've already met one Deviant named Thanos, so you can see why humanity needs protectors. For whatever reason, the Eternals have been hiding for centuries and are only returning to the spotlight due to a new tragedy in their midst. With that out of the way, here are the important characters who appear in the trailer. First, there's Richard Madden's Icarus, the military leader of the Eternals whose powers basically make him the MCU's answer to Superman. And if you're wondering why he shares a name with Icarus of Greek mythology, that's because the Eternals have inspired many of mankind's myths and legends about the gods. Salma Hayek's Ajak is the other, more spiritual leader of the team. Ajak can manipulate energy and reportedly has healing powers in the film. As the leader, she's also the one who directly communes with the Celestials. Gemma Chan plays Cersei, an Eternal who can manipulate matter and has been romantically tied to Icarus for centuries. These days, Cersei works as a museum curator according to leaked character descriptions, which we suppose makes her the MCU's Wonder Woman. If Chan looks familiar, she previously played Min Irva in 2019's Captain Marvel. Angelina Jolie plays Thena, a mighty warrior who can create weapons out of pure energy. Thena has formed a close bond with Don Lee's Gilgamesh, another warrior eternal who has inspired mankind's myths. Reportedly, the movie will show Thena and Gilgamesh isolating themselves from the rest of the team after a disagreement over how the Eternals should interact with mankind. Kumail Nanjiani plays Kingo, a hero who can channel and fire energy blasts. Kingo is moonlighting as a Bollywood star these days, do we smell an MCU musical number in the future? Brian Tyree Henry plays Fastos, an inventor who's helped guide humanity's technical progress over the centuries. Fastos is also notable for being the first openly gay hero in the MCU. Leah McHugh plays Sprite, a master illusionist with the misfortune of being forever trapped in the body of a child. Basically, picture the Kirsten Dunst character in Interview with the Vampire. Lauren Ridloff plays Makari, a speedster who acts as a scout for the Eternals. She's also the first hearing-impaired MCU hero, which makes her immune to the sonic boom she creates with her speed. Finally, Barry Keoghan is playing Druig, a character many are assuming will be one of the major villains of the movie. Druig is able to control the minds of others, and he too has broken away from his fellow Eternals to pursue his own agenda. The Eternals film may mostly focus on these immortal beings, but here's at least one human who plays a big part in the plot. Kit Harrington plays Dane Whitman, a character comics fans may know better as the sword-wielding Avenger, the Black Knight. The Black Knight also has deep romantic ties to Cersei in the comics, so it's entirely possible we'll see a love triangle involving Cersei, Dane, and Icarus. Oh, what has become of the Stark brothers? Other than that, the trailer is notable for the characters it doesn't show. We don't see the Celestials, nor do we get a glimpse of the Deviants. It's pretty clear Marvel is keeping the full plot and scope of Eternals under wraps for now, but at least we've met our new heroes. What do you think of this early Eternals footage? Let us know in the comments, and for all your MCU needs, stay tuned to IGN.